Hey, folks, welcome to the 30 at 5 on 560WIND.com. Got some news to take care of first. First of all, Caucasian man. Hey, Caucasian man. Coming out Monday, Caucasian man. Brand new, well, not a brand new video, but on the shelf for about a year. Been on the shelf for about a year. Uh, debated what to do with it. We're gonna, we were gonna do some other stuff with it, but we decided to do what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna put it on northtonorth.com. Make sure you pass the word around. For folks out there on 56WIND that doesn't know what Caucasian Man is, it is uh, basically a guy that uh, I patterned after my dad. Likes the bowl, likes the movies, you know, likes to have fun. You know what I'm saying? So it's a Caucasian Man TV uh, CD coming out on January 9th. Is that a DVD with a video? Is that what you call it, Corey? It's a video. Video. Just a video. He, I think the big shots like Corey, Spielberg, uh, Scorsese, they don't like to call it DVDs. It's a video. So that's what you're going to be seeing. Also, signed a unique deal uh, for Fox Sports Radio. Uh, decided I don't want to work during uh, the week uh, or can't work during the week because of not only health problems, but not with myself, but with other people in my family, not only my brother Danny. Uh, I'm going to be working weekends from 6 to 9 on Saturday Central and from 9 to midnight Sunday, all right? And then for 20 weeks out of the year, at least, I'm going to be sitting in for every person around the clock on Fox National Radio, which will expand my brand, and anybody's on vacation, I'm going to be sitting in for it. It's the first time it's ever been done at Fox where they have one guy that's sort of like the sixth man, if you will. So excited about that. Now, let's talk about some playoff football. This is the uh, uh, WIND playoff football handicapping session. Now, you got the Texans minus three versus the Bengals. Andy Dalton's done a tremendous job this year he should be a pro bowler he's not philip rivers should give up his spot andy dalton should be able to take it he is the afc rookie of the year he picked up the slack after carson palmer left carson palmer fell on his face in oakland and andy dalton uh basically landed on his feet as a rookie in uh cincinnati but that being said i have the texans minus three with yates Taking Sharp's place, I think a lot of people are going to lean on the running game of Cincinnati, the ball control offense, but I think it's a little bit too much. Houston has finally gotten Indianapolis in their way, out of their way. They're not going to have Cincinnati in their way. So take Houston minus the three. Saints minus 10.5 versus the Lions. I'm on the same page as Corey on this one. We both like the Saints minus the 10.5 versus the Lions. Matthew Stafford, I keep hearing that's going to be a shootout. Hey, you know what? I might throw in a little bit. Just take a little bit less, throw in the under in this game. I don't even know what the over-under is, but I'll tell you this right now. In fact, I'll tell you what it is. The over-under in this game, they don't even list it. There isn't one. It's 130. I like the under. No, I'm kidding. Well, whatever the under is, I take a... Uh, I don't even have to see the total. You know it's going to be in the 50s. Now, also, the Giants minus three versus the Falcons. I like Atlanta. I know, Matty Ice, it's going to happen sooner or later. Does it happen this year? Did uh, the role that the Giants are on, is their momentum so strong that they can beat Atlanta at home? And why are they only three-point favorites? I mean, it's a, really, it's an even game. And this is an indoor team going to New York in January, and yet they're only getting a field goal? I like Atlanta. Then I agree with Corey on the last one, uh, the Denver Broncos. You're giving uh, Tebow eight points. Okay, if it's nothing, nothing. It's eight and a half, nine points by the time the game kicks off. You have to go with the Denver Broncos. So here's who I like. I like the Texans. I like the Saints. I like the Falcons. And I like the Broncos. That's two favorites and uh, two uh, dogs in that uh, match, in those matches. Now, as far as the weather this weekend, it's beautiful here in Chicago. Snow hasn't really hit us yet. Uh, you know, we had a light snow before the, you know, during the holidays, and then it went away quick. So it's going to be a beautiful day. Check your local listings, folks. You've been listening to 560 WIND, 30 and 5, brought to you by Altoff, Flood Brothers, and the Village of Rosemont.
Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships. And the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.